ram suddenly came under a hot, heavy volume of small arms and automatic weapons fire from a numerically superior North Vietnamese Army force occupying well-concealed positions. Realizing the seriousness of the situation, Private First Class Milligan unhesitatingly maneuvered across the fire-swept terrain and upon reaching an advantageous position on his platoon's flank, commenced delivering a heavy volume of fire into the enemy's, enemy's fortified emplacements. Successfully diverting the enemy's attention to his position, he steadfastly continued to direct accurate suppressive fire, which allowed his unit to withdraw. Fearlessly remaining in his hazardously exposed position, he delivered intense fire upon the hostile positions for over one hour. And when the enemy withdrew, one hostile sniper remained in the area to harass and delay the Marines' movement. Unhesitatingly volunteering to attack the sniper, Private First Class Milligan and three companions rapidly commenced maneuvering forward. Alertly observing the hostile soldier's position, he deliberately exposed himself to the sniper's fire while directing a heavy volume of fire upon the enemy emplacement. Although he sustained two serious wounds, PFC Milligan's determined efforts were instrumental in allowing the other Marines to close with and kill the sniper. His heroic and timely actions in the face of great personal danger were an inspiration to all who observed him and contributed significantly to the accomplishment of his unit's mission. PFC Milligan's courage, bold initiative, and unwavering devotion to duty were in keeping with the highest traditions of the Marine Corps and of the United States Naval Service. Private First Class Milligan is authorized to wear the combat V. For the President, H.W. Hughes, Jr., Lieutenant General, United States Marine Corps, Commanding General, Fleet Marine Corps, at Pacific. At this time, Congressman Fitzgerald can present the Bronze Star and Purple Heart to PFC Milligan III. At this time, I'd like to bring Congressman Pasquale up to say some words on behalf of my uh, my father and his and his medal. Rob, Senator Pasquale, God bless you and your family. I mean, you belong up here because you did most of the work here, all of the work, indeed. Your steadfastness is what brings us all together here today. Your love. For your husband, you love your country. And we are proud that your family is here as well, and the kids, because they need to see this. Uh, we welcome our Marine unit. We welcome our Marine brothers who are here as well. And it is very fitting that we do this in a firehouse. Because Rob, you've been a fireman, a lieutenant. I just came from Little Falls, where we had a 100-year-old firefighter who served in the Little Falls Fire Department 79 years, 100 years old yesterday, uh, Mince Dredger, and we're so proud of it. So it's fitting uh, that we're here today to present this to you, deserving. Uh, we're not going to even quibble about how, how it took so long, but uh, this is how the government operates. On behalf of a grateful country, on behalf of the President of the United States and the Congress of the United States, God bless you and your family. Your best years are ahead of you. And we all join in applauding you for your bravery. Thank you. 